Donald Trump, my son, do not doubt me and do not doubt what I will do for you. I'll protect whom you love and I'll protect this nation from what you are being told is possible and it could be the worst case scenarios. This will not happen. I will not allow your enemies to go that far. I know it's hard to imagine less casualties in a situation like this, but I have done this in my word before. My son go to Second Chronicles 20 in my written word and read what I did for my people. The enemies fought each other and none on my side were lost. This is possible. Get in prayer with me. Surround yourselves with people who can pray with authority, who will lead you in the right direction. Donald, you have had people surrounding you who have purposely given you bad advice. Some know they are sent there to sabotage you. I will reveal the ones who are left. I will tell you who to have near you during this time. My son, it's go time. So go and I will be with you. I will be with this nation. You are a part of the new United States. I have called you here for this moment. I promise you, my son, I will not fail you. And I will not fail this nation. I love you beyond what you could have imagined. Everything stolen, everything lost, you are about to get back in multiplication. My son, beyond your wildest dreams, I will restore and give back more. I will shield your family and no one will touch them. I have my angel army surrounding you and your family in this time. So go and do what I've called you to do and I will be with you, my son. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for your sacrifice. And thank you for your obedience. Thank you for not backing down. And thank you for trusting me. All right, so this is the absolute unhinged ramblings of a deranged person who is allegedly prophesying that God Almighty, Jesus Christ, who himself committed the greatest sacrifice in existence when he shed his blood for you and I that we could live, this, this woman has Jesus thanking Donald Trump four different times. Ladies and gentlemen, this is some of the worst blasphemy I've seen in the end times here. The worst part is this woman claims to be Christian. But clearly she has problems and uh, please continue to pray for her. The level of delusion here is immeasurable. And thank you to Jane Jones for exposing this.